But not until after the election. Probably not. Okay. And, but it'd be fraud. It'd be, right. you know, because you would be purging yourself when you sign, you know, that you hadn't voted. Mm -hmm. That you hadn't voted. And I would follow up on that by saying I eavesdropped when I voted out at the fairgrounds because one of your, I assume it was one of your clerks, somebody was re same day registration, and just the way you were, explaining to this young man that if you did this, and if you did this, and it was, it was well done. Very so whoever it was, you know, <laughs> they, they did a good job. But I think the young man understood, and I don't know, I left before he decided to. Yeah. The hardest thing for me to do on election day is turn someone away. I'll do everything I can to try and enable someone to be able to vote, you know. And sometimes you end up, you know, I had this one mom with these two daughters, and she was doing all the talking, and I said, you know, I know you're involved here, and I know this is important to you, you want your daughters to vote, but they are the ones that are voting, and I really need to talk to them, if you could just <laughs> allow me. And they were so glad I got rid of their mom. <laughs> they really wanted to have the conversation with me. <laughs> I know uh, when she was talking about registering these voters, and I know you had mentioned it before that because the, so many of the students have their um, all their bills are on their phone, and yeah. you're trying to get permission whether you can use right. the phone. Mm -hmm. and, and we can. can, we can take electronic proof. So if they had a Amazon, a book delivered to their apartment via Amazon, mm -hmm. I could. They can pull up the receipt and say, this is so-and-so, and on this date she had this book delivered to her, textbook delivered to her apartment. And that's proof of that she lived there on that day. So. I'm relatively new to Idaho, about 18 months. And so is, is early election or early voting uh, a fairly new thing in Idaho, or has it been around for a while? Well... Victoria, I think early voting can be synonymous with absentee voting. Are you separating those two? Um, what it, because I guess, um, you know, well, actually, it was coming to it. I am separating it, thinking that okay, absentee ballots have been around for a while, but it's this early voting thing where you can show up to the polls early. Mm -hmm. Is that is that fairly new? It's pretty much the same. Thing. Okay, all right. I don't. Have a separate ballot for early voters as I do absentee. Okay. Right. If you vote before election day, I, I put you in this absentee bracket down here. Right. That's where you're going to go. Okay. BJ? I think the trend for absentee ballots is probably going to get greater. I think so too. A lot of people are talking about the switching to vote by mail, and they do in Washington and increase the number of voter turnout. Mm -hmm. Do you ever see Idaho doing something like that or also changing the day of the election? Like Tuesday is very inconvenient for those who commute and work. Mm -hmm. A lot of countries have it on Sunday or something like that. They're actually getting more strict instead of more lenient. The clerks, the 44 clerks in the county requested an increase from 120 voters in a precinct to be a mail-out precinct to 250. If you only had 250 people in that precinct, could we please just mail them a ballot? And they said no. That would have affected about six more of my precincts Who if they that? had done that. The legislature would the not legislature. even entertain discussion on it. The rationale being voter fraud. Yeah. And it's funny, you know, younger people would love to do the mail out. Older people, they want to go to the polls and they want to be you know, physically vote in the booth. So it's a generational thing, and I don't see our legislator even increasing our ability to mail out ballots, much less. And I haven't heard anything about change the day, but that would be interesting. I, I haven't heard anything about that. Okay. So. It's always, always interesting to see how things are going to go on election day. We do have elections uh, four times a year. I don't know, you're new to Idaho, so I'll just briefly explain. Years ago, you would go to the fire department and vote on something, or you'd go to the school district and you'd vote on a bond levy, and um, you'd go to the city to vote for a city election. Uh, the legislature decided that the, late, that the 
clerks in the state would conduct all of the elections. We have about 40 taxing districts plus, and that includes your water and sewer districts, your fire departments, your cemetery. cities, your cemeteries, recreation. recreation districts. The county clerks run every single election. They allow us four dates to run those. And then they put some in even years and some in odd years. And so this year it's going to be city councils. Um, schools can pretty much run a bond uh, or maintenance and operation levy any of those four dates. But it's in March, May, August, and November. And those dates are set. Um, and then every other year we have different kinds depending on what you are. Um, even years is, is the governor and the presidentials, and then the odd years are like the cities and quite a few of the taxing districts. School, some board, school board. School board and, and some of your taxing districts are even in the even year. There's a couple, I can't remember which ones they are. I have to get out my cheat sheet. Nancy? Hey, Marianne, I, like you, I was impressed with, by the volunteer efforts to get, get out the vote and all those new uh, registered voters that mm -hmm. we saw. But to what do you attribute the, the hit and miss kind of voter turnout we've had, really typically kind of low of statewide? And what can we as a society do to improve that turnout? I mean, relative to other countries around the world. What, mm -hmm. it, I That's think. a question we ponder all the time. Yeah. As clerks, we talk about it. And um, one thing um, I think is, is just trying to get more electronic with our information out there too. You know, we've always relied on the radio and the newspaper, but the younger generation who has the strongest, you know, set of generationally that don't vote, um, they are more tuned into their um, phones and information that way, and I think we maybe need to go more electronic in getting that information out, and that, that could help. Um, I don't know. It's an ongoing question, how to get the vote out. Because we go to an awful lot of work to run this election. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, <my> <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't matter if people come or not. We have to do the same amount of work. It costs the same amount of money. Just one quick one, because you're running out of time. What was the cost of putting on this last election? <laughs> <laughs> now would you take that one? Victoria does our cost analysis. Okay, the number I remember is 88,143. Can I just for Lake Talk County? Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. ballots and people and food. And food. Paying those to sit there for 14 hours? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. And some of that is compensated um, from the state. We do get a check. I don't know what the last amount was we got, but they do compensate us at some level. If they feel it was part of the consolidated effort, Okay. Then they compensate us more. If they feel like it's more of a county election, they don't send us any money at all. Yeah. <laughs> District like board. Board. I do want to thank you, having worked elections in Texas <laughs> for 35 years, and <laughs> taking my own lunch. <laughs> thank you very much for feeding us. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I thank everybody uh, for helping. Uh, we can't do it without like all this like volunteering because I don't pay you here enough. That's Sound. for sure. Sound. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank your staff for their really good work. Thank you. Yeah. I'll, t I'll forward that on to them. They are. I'm the luckiest clerk. <laughs> they are so good. And unfortunately, we were out without Victoria this year, so we had to learn a lot more. <laughs> but she's back to work full time now, and. She's trying to put together the mess we made for her on her desk when she got back. And, uh, so it all worked, but um, it's a lot of work, and it, it doesn't happen without a lot, of, a lot of help, a lot of good help, and, and I do. I have the best help. I can't ask for better. They work so hard. Yeah, I think you know, we're about out of time, and I think we all appreciated this, and oh, uh, so glad to have you here.